Hello everyone. So today I thought I'll probably show you a bit about uh, Drupal views. And in Drupal, there is a concept of a taxonomy in case you don't know. Taxonomy is basically a way to organize your content by creating different categories. And uh, uh, when you have the, the taxonomy defined, you can actually attach your content, you know, your pages or whatever you're doing on the site to your uh, taxonomy, basically those categories. Now, let us say you have uh, a taxonomy defined for uh, your uh, services, for example. So I'm working on uh, this uh, website which is my company's website where I want to basically define my services. So on top, there is a link here called services. And before I can show you the, ter the, the actual services, the way these services are shown to the users, let me show you how to define our taxonomy. So when you want to create a new taxonomy, basically you have to create a vocabulary. Vocabulary is basically the you know, the main bucket. And within that particular vocabulary, you will have different uh, taxonomy terms that you can define. And uh, right now I have this uh, vocabulary defined called services. And if I click on the list terms, it will then list all the services that I have defined. For example, at Sparksys, we provide uh, Atlassian consultancy and within Atlassian consultancy, because that is the main big bucket, uh, we, we do have different uh, services like, you know, we also provide automation and integration services. We provide Jira consultation, we provide Jira training and so on. And similarly for uh, Drupal, we have, uh, you know, some sub services. So this this is something that you can define using, using taxonomy. And uh, based on this, when you create a new, let us say a, a project, for example, if I show you one of my project, um, each and every project that uh, we have is linked or it can be linked to one of these uh, taxonomy uh, taxonomy terms that you have defined. And when you do this, you will basically be able to use these services to, to showcase what you are doing. And also when someone is looking at uh, a specific taxonomy, which is like a category or a service, uh, I can also display the related uh, projects or portfolios or vice versa. Basically, if, if someone is looking at this particular page, where I did some Jira customization work, uh, I can also show this uh, project category, which is nothing but, you know, the same thing, uh, you know, the service. You can basically change the name if you want. And uh, this is the link, Jira Consultancy. And if I click on Jira Consultancy, it will then uh, take me to all the uh, Jira Consultancy projects that, uh, you know, I have done. So this is something that you can easily do with the help of uh, taxonomy. Now, the main thing that I wanted to show you today is uh, how you can uh, use these taxonomies to also show visually in a hierarchical hierarchical format where you want to display your services, but uh, you, you want to display something like this, where uh, if, I, if someone's clicking on the services tab on the website, I want first to showcase my, or basically sh list all the services, but I want to list the services along with the uh, parent first, followed by all the children and then uh, the next parent and so on. Now, if you have to do it, you have to basically create a view and a view in um, Drupal is nothing but uh, your own customized, uh, I mean, view as the name suggests, it's nothing but a view that you can create and uh, what you want to show in the view is up to you. So in a view, you can actually display your content, you can also display your images, you can display whatever you want that you have on the website. and. In this particular case, I want to display a taxonomy. Now, what you need to do, in case you want to create a view where you want to display uh, your taxonomy terms, you basically need to create a view of type uh, taxonomy in the in the beginning. So, to create a new view, if I go to the manage section and if I go to structure, I can go to a view uh, section here and I can, and and I can of course click on the add view. And when you do this, you will be presented with the option here to create this view by specifying the view name and what you want to display in the view. So do you want to create a view for content or comment, or maybe you want to do, you want to create a view for all the taxonomy terms. So this is what I did. I want to create a view of all the taxonomy terms, which I already have here. But in this particular taxonomy term view, the main thing that I want to do is that I want to basically display not only the, um, the, the taxonomy term as it is, I also want to display the parent. Basically, I want to create a grouping and you can actually do that with the help of uh, this term parent field. So you can actually add 
any field that you want that you may have for example if you want to add a taxonomy related fields or taxonomy related items you can actually select from here and uh, right now i want to display my name and i also want to display my uh, parent this one so when you do this i basically want to hide my parent from this particular view i don't really want my parent to appear in this list uh, here but i want my parent to be listed on top as a grouping so i can actually hide it from here and then i can go to the field settings uh, not field settings sorry i can go to the html list settings and then i can uh, select here uh, grouping so by default this grouping is uh, none but you can actually create a grouping based on whatever field that you have already in your view so because i have a taxonomy term parent which is hidden from the view but i want this uh, to be displayed as a group so i can actually select it on top and that is it but when you create this particular uh, view you may encounter cases where uh, this particular view might uh, actually display also some duplicate so this particular parent might appear uh, here again which of course you don't really want to do because it, it doesn't it really make any sense because uh, i mean this is also a taxonomy term atlassian consultancy is a taxonomy term atlassian support atlassian tools audit they are all taxonomy terms but within taxonomy terms one taxonomy term can be a parent of uh, other taxonomy term and if you want to avoid uh, listing those uh, parent items in the list what you can do is you can actually add a relationship here so when you click on the relationships you can actually add uh, here that uh, you want your uh, parent which is in this case uh, you know my parent term to be uh, listed here as a parent which is something that i definitely want and based on this parent then you can actually uh, uh, if you want uh, i mean you, you can experiment with it you can then uh, filter this particular list if you want to based on maybe you don't really want to display your uh, parents here or maybe you want to display your parents uh, or maybe you only want to display the top level or uh, only the children so b basically you can uh, add a filter here something like this if you add a filter and if you go to the term id for example uh, you can actually select here uh, let me select uh, this page and click on the add display so you can actually add a filter here called is empty or is uh, not empty basically depending upon whether you want to display parent or you want or you don't want to display parent you can actually add a, a, a add a condition here and when you're adding a condition just make sure that you're selecting parent on top because this is the relationship that you just added and that is it when you do these things you can actually uh, i mean it, it depends if you have duplicates and if you don't really want, want to display your parents again you can actually select this option the other thing that i wanted to show you is that the view that i just showed you is a page view so this is something that can be accessible using uh, this url sparkses.com or whatever i mean i'm on local right now but slash services but if i click on atlassian consultancy it will actually because this is the term this is actually linked to all the projects that i may have linked to atlassian consultancy or you know basically anything which is linked to atlassian consultancy uh, will be listed here on this particular page which is again a separate view so th this is also a view where uh, it is showing the node or the content but what i want to do is when someone is looking at this particular you know service uh, it is of course showing my portfolio but at the same time i also want to display this uh, block which is uh, going to display the same view that i just showed you earlier but uh, i also want to make sure that this particular view is uh, not really showing other services apart from atlassian consultancy ba basically i do have a uh, drupal consultancy as well which i don't really want to display here because uh, uh, i don't want to it, it doesn't it doesn't really make any sense but uh, to do this first of all this is a block view and when you create a view you have the option to um basically do the same thing that you just did for the page but uh, in this particular case there is a concept of uh, contextual filters and uh, what you can do here is that uh, you can actually add a contextual filter here that uh, if someone is uh, looking at this particular i mean when you create a block you have to display the block uh, somewhere on, on a page for example somewhere on the site and you can also do some restriction based on uh, where you want to display that particular block on what pages so when the block is displayed and when the page is uh, you know rendered or you know when someone is looking at the page 
based on the url of the page you can actually pass that url uh, or someone in something in the url to the block as a contextual filter which i'm doing here using this uh, term id and uh, when you basically add this uh, term id in your uh, display you have the i mean as a contextual filter you have the option to basically select here provide a default value and uh, uh, pick the default value from the taxonomy term id from the url so someone is someone, someone is looking at the page where uh, someone is looking at the atlassian consultancy which is a term and it will show all the projects linked to atlassian consultancy which is again uh, using that uh, content and taxonomy uh, you know linking i also want this block to be displayed and only filter that uh, blocks content based on the atlassian consultancy or if someone is looking at drupal consultancy i only want to display the taxonomy terms based on uh, drupal and uh, this is something that you can do and uh, let me show you the one that i already have which is basically uh, this one oh so basically i was not really using the taxonomy term idea i was using the taxonomy um, term parents because i want to only display i want to filter this list based on the parent and that is what i have uh, selected here and that is it so this is some, this is something that you can do to basically create a block with a contextual filter and uh, based on the contextual filter if someone is looking at uh, this particular page which is of course at lashan consultancy this is this block is going to list only the terms related to at lashan consultancy which is amazing and if i go to maybe drupal consultancy i mean let me do it if i click on this particular link it will of course show all the projects which of course right now the the, the projects are not displayed because i need to link them but uh, if you notice the main thing that i wanted to do is that this is now going to only link or display filter the block content based on uh, drupal consultancy and that is it this is a wonderful thing that you can do when you are working on drupal uh, because drupal is quite flexible uh, when when you want to do these wonderful things and great thing is that you can do you, you can do all these things using uh, nothing but your this is called site building in drupal you may not be writing a module or you're not really doing any coding but uh, even if you learn drupal site building you can do wonderful things uh, you can actually create your own site and uh, in fact not just any site but great site in fact most of my sites are in fact you know till recently uh, majority of my sites have always been in drupal i moved away from drupal for a couple of my sites where i moved to a simple static based html sites which i manage using nothing but org mode but uh, for some of my sites i do want to use i do want to continue uh, using drupal because uh, i want some flexibility on those sites and those sites especially this site and my ravisaga.in site they are all uh, dynamic sites there is a lot of content and drupal is great when it comes to um, managing a lot of content and displaying it nicely and managing the site site management in general in drupal is amazing and uh, I thought I'll probably share this with all of you in case you are trying to do something similar using Drupal. So that that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about today in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.